Cut the Rope, Om Noms, Playground, Quick Set, Windmill. Or should they call this Windmill of Death? Look at the spikes on that thing. Uh, this is a neat little quick set to build and have fun with. Uh, hopefully uh, poor Om Nom will be able to survive the onslaught of candy through Windmill. Uh, looks like it comes with a launcher and some of the pieces that we've seen before. I think this one's going to be kind of fun, so let's open her up and see what poor Om Nom is going to have to take. Okay, out of the box we have some pieces. We have Om Nom with this candy. Hey, give me that. You're not supposed to have that yet. You've got the spikes of death, and it looks like it's going to spin pretty easily. You've got a little half pipe. You've got this cool launcher, which is probably the best piece I have seen in a while. I think more sets should have come with one of those. A um, couple uh, base plates and the usual rods and supports. So not too bad. Let's start building. All right, we'll start with the bases as always. They are strong, fit pretty well, and I can deal with that. And according to the back of the box, we are going to do a few different things. We are going to put this somewhere in here. We might adjust that. And we're going to put our little half pipe up front. And the thing about the half pipe, if you recall, it is slightly angled, so you want it to probably face so that the ball goes downhill and I doubt it'll matter that much on a set with a launcher um, but it just might heck maybe you want it going uphill so you can get it to bank upwards a little bit right always enjoyed how strong the pieces are in this set that's what makes this set better than it is so there we go now we take the fan of death and we place I believe like so um, can't place that way obviously it's gonna hit so right about here and so that's going to cause um, the candy to hit something and we're gonna put Om Nom there and we're gonna start giving it some test runs alright alright so candy in the uh, launcher pull back a little bit of a spring and into the fan blade so this is going to take some uh, hand-eye coordination which I do not have um, yeah you might need to get like a helper to spin the fan and uh, <laughs> spin the fan so that it uh, hits Om Nom maybe we should just do this alright so that actually is one of the best features I've seen get rid of the fan just try to launch the darn thing alright Make sure he's straight. Make sure you don't bump the darn thing. <laughs> Make sure you have refills. I'd like to thank my cat for scratching up my hand this morning before doing this. Whoa. You know, odds are Odds are, if that propeller is spinning, there is no way you're going to get it through and into Om Nom. There's just no way it's going to hit something. Every time. So you just kind of got to pretend that the propeller stops. Yeah. It stops, say, perfectly right there, and then you, oh, you blow the propeller off. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Yay! So, you know, what people are really saying about these toys is that they're too difficult to actually pull off a candy machine go but they're great for just you know on your shelf om nom uh, display toys they just look kind of cool so that's the value in these toys for sure um, and maybe if you're just crazy enough you can build something that is going to work uh, I just like them for the looks so that is the om nom uh, fan windmill of death uh, show please subscribe to the squirrel stampede channel